Hello everyone, Icecool Tech here, back with a brand new video. Today we'll be taking a look at how the iPhone 7 has been handling iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 1. But before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on and stay up to date with all the latest news announcements and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Anyway, let's get right into the video. So I've been running iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 1 on my iPhone 7 for a week now, and overall the experience has been pretty good, not great iOS 13.4 does indeed bring some new features to the table, including a feature that's actually been long awaited since WWDC 2019, and that is, you guessed it, iCloud folder sharing. Now, if you want to see an in-depth overview of all the new features included within this update, make sure to check out my overview right here in the card or the link in the description down below. Alright, now with pretty much any update, you can of course assume that there have been a few bug fixes, probably a good chunk of bug fixes, and security improvements. Let's start off with performance though as usual. iOS 13.4 has been great when it comes to overall performance. Daily tasks such as multitasking, opening up apps, looking up stuff on the internet, streaming video, etc. have actually been just as good as iOS 13.3.1. Now, as iOS 13.3.1, its general performance was great on its own, so as stated in my iPhone SE review, let's just hope that iOS 13 continues on improving upon instead of getting any worse before the release of iOS 14. Other than that, general performance isn't much of a different story than with my iPhone SE. No major- no- As I was attempting to say, no major increase, but no decrease either. Now, animations, uh, on the other hand, it's a different story. Ever since I updated iOS 13.4 Beta 1 on my iPhone 7, I've been noticing a very, very familiar stutter with animations. Back in the beta releases of iOS 13.3 and some older iOS 13 versions, I noticed that unlocking my phone very quickly would result in a few seconds of very delayed stuttering, even no animation. This happened in areas such as the control center, multitasking screen, notification center, opening and closing apps, now, as iOS 13 versions came out, this happened less and less, and as it happened less times, it would also be for shorter periods of times. With iOS 13.4 Beta 1, it has come back with a vengeance. This only happens so much, so it's not a lot, but it does happen more frequently than iOS 13.3 or 13.2.3. When it does happen, however, it lasts a bit longer at about 6 to 8 seconds. There's more stuttering and choppiness than before as well, so hopefully this is fixed in beta too. Now, onto my favorite topic, battery life. So, first off, I would like to confirm that my maximum capacity is 97%. My iPhone 7 has never seen a restart, therefore it is not being throttled. Now, when it comes to standby time iOS 13.4 is actually a major step forward from iOS 13.3.1, iOS 13.3, and every other version of iOS 13. Standby time on iOS 13.3.1, for example, was pretty good with the little drain on standby. Typically, I'd see a difference of 4-5%, about the same as the iPhone SE, after leaving the phone off the charger at night. On iOS 13.4, beta, beta 1, the difference is way smaller. On iOS 13.4, the difference is about 2%. Yep, 2%. 2. Left off the charger overnight, went from 98% to 96% when I woke up in the morning. So this is absolutely amazing, but what about while you're using the phone? Well, iOS 13.3 had pretty good battery life with screen on time. iOS 13.4, in my experience, is about the same. Yes, you can Definitely pull off a full day with light to medium use such as listening to music, playing a few games, browsing the web, and watching some videos. As for heavy use such as playing heavier games, heavily browsing the web, streaming a lot of video, consistently listening to music, and making a few phone calls, etc., I definitely recommend keeping a spare charger with you. Although you could potentially pull off a good amount of the day with heavy use, you'd most likely end up with critical battery at best. Overall, iOS 13.4 has been amazing for the f for a first beta release on the iPhone 7. I really am excited for the full release of iOS 13.4, and this will most likely be the very, very last milestone update to iOS 13 
before iOS 14. So let's hope it ends off on a somewhat good note. Now, when should we expect beta 2? Looking back at past beta releases, you'll see that Apple likes to release new betas in the middle of the week. Now, in yesterday's iPhone SE full review, I stated that we could see the second beta today. However, it looks like that hasn't happened just yet, so I'd say later this week to early next week is when we should see our second beta, and public beta 2 following a few days later. Now for the main question, should you update? Now if you're on iOS 13.3.1 or an older version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing a beta firmware on your device, I'd say go for it. But if you're running iOS 12 or older, I'd highly, highly recommend staying there if of course you can. Anyway, that is all I have for you in today's video. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful in any way. And if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you and also let me know what your experience has been on with iOS 13 on the iPhone SE. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.